by the uh, Singapore Film Commission's new uh, feature film fund. And then we had some private equity from different places. So it's a co-production between Singapore, Indonesia, and the US. So the other parts of the funding are private money. Yes, Are there any uh, cultural constraints while making this movie? I mean, like, if you were coming back in, you know, you are playing the character of not speaking the English, and, like, you know, having your uh, diverse cultural background, did there, uh, were there any constraints while making this movie? Yeah. 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 What would that be to you? Um, not really, because uh, as I said, uh, Manchishi uh, let us be very free about building up the characters. So those uh, disadvantages that it could be in that moment, I just took it in a good way, you know, to build up the, the character and to use them in, in a sense that the character would be feeling out of place at the beginning of the movie, so it, it wasn't personally, but it was for the character, you know? Does that, does that answer your question? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Any more questions? Yes, Matt. Sorry. Okay, no, please feel free, yes. Um, you say that there's an affiliation between Singapore, Indonesia, and the U.S. How did you get together and, and actually decide to make the movie? Uh, it's my chance, you know. Um, Singapore, I'm a Singaporean, and you know, uh, I was eligible for the, a part of the funding, and I pitched the project, and uh, that comes in. Uh, my Indonesian uh, partner actually did it this year. Uh, Ireland, yeah. So, Dylan, I met actually uh, on a different film shoot uh, in Saipan School a few years ago. I was actually shoot, uh, the star of photography. And uh, he was the uh, the production designer, so we worked together uh, on the film, and uh, it, it was a good collaboration. And you know, we when the opportunity to to enter the project together uh, came about, we just uh, jumped on it. Uh, U.S. is you know the side of the U.S., so that that is a sort of a natural piece of puzzle. Uh, thank you. Can you Well, how about um, you guys can share with us your favorite scene in the movie? Oh. It's going to be hard to pick. I know. That's what you always say, but you've got to pick one. Which is your favorite scene? I'll keep it PG. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think for that. Because I don't want to get any spoilers. So. Um, I would say, I think the hardest scene, which is really difficult for us, is um, there was one scene in Little Mexico where it's sort of the confrontation between the two characters. It was very hot. There were lots of people walking past. It's very difficult to do a good take and then suddenly they say, oh, someone looked at the camera. And we were rushing on time. And we were rushing and it was the last thing of the day. And as I stressed, it was very, very hot. It was very hot. And it was just very difficult. That and the Hollywood... We were walking down Hollywood Boulevard shooting a scene and the guy came out with his shop yeah. and like that just joined in the scene. And he said, hey, what are you, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm filming. <laughs> you know me? I was like, no, I'm telling about my dad. <laughs> yeah. He was part of the scene, but he got cut out, which is a shame. We don't want to pay the next year. So as you can tell, we shot a lot on the location. <laughs> not all, all the time we have full control of, of the location. Uh, the advantage of it is it's authentic. You know, it's a real place. And we pick the place because it uh, works in the movie. But, you know, because we did not shut down the place and we don't have the resources to shut down places, you know, so I can work with what we have. Renata, what's the most exciting scene for you? Oh, it's really hard to say, but I've got to tell that probably it's, um, that same one, the one that we'll be saying, uh, just not because of, uh, because my character is breaking, um, uh, is there, is, is in the moment where he, uh, really breaks, um, how do you say it? Sorry. Yeah, exactly. He, he shows a little bit of vulnerability when he hasn't been showing it before. And it was hard to do it because of the, 
all the firemen. So I think it's, it's, it's a bit of a. We got through a lot of cool things. I mean, we got to do choreo for our fight scene. I learned how to wash dishes. My mother was very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I never had the support. She's great. I have a But now I have a bit of prompting. Um, we got to do another thing. Oh, and then, yeah, we got to, um, when we first met, Munchi said, we're going to take you down to Little Mexico in a car, and we're going to drop you off and leave you there for two hours. You get to know each other, so we said, okay, that's fine. And she said, by the way, um, we want you to buy a fake green card. Sorry, you want to do what? We want you to buy a fake green card. Right, okay. So, we walked, and a fella came up to us, sorry, I'm going to do a really bad Mexican accent, I apologize. <laughs> like, hey man, you want to buy a green card? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's my green card, it's fantastic, go ahead. So we go to this very small room and it's quite dark in there and he shows us the green card and he says, you know, it's going to cost X amount of dollars and I need photos of both of you and then you'll have your best green card. Obviously, this is a massive, you know, against the law fraud, you know, they found us the police, we're going straight back home. Um, so I'm getting really scared here and I'm looking at him trying to compose myself, but nevertheless, you know, he's looking at me going, yeah, that's exactly what she wanted, you know, but if, you know, feedback and, you know, really doing the method, knowing exactly how it feels, you know, Daniel Day Lewis style, and I just think we're going to go out because it's kind of getting creepy. So, just in short, basically, we said, oh, we're going to get some money out of the ATM. They said, okay, fine. They got a, quite a large fellow to follow us to the ATM because they didn't trust us. They thought we were police. Um, which ended up in us running into a closed door and hiding in a closed room for 20 minutes in the dark. It's great. It's how we got to know each other. It's fantastic. It's a you know, really good bonding experience. So when we did the scene, when we buy the green card, we knew exactly what we were doing. You go, you go looking for the people and then they just come up to you and go, you want to buy a green card? You want to buy a green card? That's not yeah. How did that make you feel, though? <laughs> Without a sense of speech, it's really scary. Um, how about you, Mikey? What's your favorite scene in the entire movie? Um, the most challenging one for you as a director? I think they could be different scenes. Um, I, I guess the ma a memorable scene, the memorable scene would be shooting uh, the countdown, the New Year countdown, uh, at Times Square, uh, in Hollywood, in the middle of uh, summer. So it was really fun. I mean, it was great. Uh, you get to count down six months in advance, and uh, you know, everybody wearing thick coats, and, uh, and it was great. Is that time for one more question, anybody? One last question. All right. Well, thank you very much. Is there any last words you want to tell uh, the media or, or people watching the movie? Um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything you'd like them to bear in mind when watching the movie? I hope they enjoy it. We did it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. What a wonderful experience. I'd love to share with you. Alright, big round of applause. Young Lanchi, Fernando, Noriega, and Luke Brandon here. Thank you so much. You I'd much. like to invite um, the three of you to go outside for photo taking opportunities. Uh, members of the media, if you have a camera, you can go outside and uh, cast members and others will be happy to take pictures. Thank you. Thank you once again for joining us here today. I hope you have